well, we're uh, back out in the sticks, me and Frank. Frank's the, the director now. And uh, we already got his sheep and uh, expecting it to be another rough one to get my sheep. We're just uh, trying to pack this yard sale up and try and get about 10 miles back in today and see what we can see. And then uh, potentially about the farthest spot, I think we'd, we might end up going is almost 20 miles back in. So time to get skinny. <laughs> so this morning's glassing out of the tent. We got some caribou. About 200 yards away. It's got a collar on too. It's a fairly nice bull. Beautiful day for September in Alaska. Way nicer than most of August. Here's the man of the hour. Our reason for stopping is H2O. This is where we've been getting it. There's no creeks up here, we've come up so high that there's hardly any water, so you just gotta get it out of these little holes. But it's good, nice clear water. Treat it, tastes great. A little wobbly, a long ways away, but we've made it up here to where we originally anticipated going to find sheep, and not too shabby, there's a whole bunch of them. Seem like 10 rams, nothing too crazy yet, but we just got up here this afternoon, so should be good. Tyler's setting up the tent right now. Pretty crazy rocks. Tours. Great place to be camping. Couldn't ask for a better September so far. Found five rams. We don't know whether or not they're uh, legal yet. We got such a bad issue with the mirage that uh, we can't tell. So we're probably within 500 yards now. Eking. The other night's stock, as Tyler would say, didn't work out so good. The only ram that was we were thinking was legal just wouldn't show face until it got too dark. And then we couldn't find our backpacks with the headlamps in them, and it was somewhat of a show. Um, but that's behind us now, and we've decided to move our camp and ran into these five more rams. I had to get some footage of this. It's probably the coolest glassing spot that I've ever seen. I bet they're gonna come bed down somewhere up in here. Yeah, up on this, up in this flat right in the bowl there, yeah. Well, the sheep were moving right into a great spot and then this herd of caribou came and spooked the sheep and they all took off. So, now we're back to waiting to see what the sheep are gonna do. A couple of nice bulls in there though. It rained a lot last night, pretty much all night. And uh, this morning's foggy, but it's broken. Right now, obviously, we're right in it. But um, hopefully it lifts. We got, we located the rams again, four of the five. Tyler, anything more it's to add to smaller. that? It's always something, exactly. So that's all right, though. The sheep are pretty sure all five of them are, are down there. Um, you know, the way the lay of the land got up this morning and if any of them had moved off, we would have been able to see them uh, for a couple miles. And so I think they're, you know, they're in a good spot. They're down below us and we got good wind. So it's just a waiting game. I suspicion they're going to feed back up into, feed back up into here where we kind of spooked them out of there the other day. That was kind of a, 
kind of went haywire on us, but all you got you just got to be patient and uh, maybe third time's a charm. Just like that. <clears throat> Boy, I just barely got on him just oh. in the nick of time. <laughs> He, he saw us. Did he? Yeah. The old 27 O'Connor barks again. <laughs> oh my god. Painful. It's been painful. <laughs> right here. Booyah. <laughs> he was on right. the ground before I recovered from the recoil. <laughs> Oh I, man, I, I am so happy. As I shot, it's just like, I just, I'm like waiting for them to hear the thunk. <laughs> Ram number 10. 10 down. Oh. Man, it's been a, been a fun, interesting, frustrating hunt. We've been watching this ram for five days now. Uh, the first whole day we were back in here, we were checking out some areas and they and spotted him and the five other rams he was with down below us and as we moved in for the stock they you know they spread out and ended up we we blew it and just had to watch him for the last two days it was always something it seemed like but got up early this morning and found them and uh they're in a good spot ended up working out perfect um i'm just kind of speechless this is my uh 10th doll sheep and I'm 29 years old and I mean it, it just doesn't get old and it do, doesn't get any better than this hmm. nice eight-year-old ram just beautiful been seeing a lot of rams a lot of wildlife in general and man it's just been just been great awesome awesome <laughs> this is it final crossing to the four-wheelers Snowy blizzardy day, really windy, pretty cold. Agony is over. We made it though. Done burning calories. It's all about burning gasoline. Everything hurts. Everything's wet. Everything's cold. Just snowing all day, frozen, but man, every bit of it's worth it. For that right there.